Allah says, when you lose sight of the akhirah, when you have nothing to look forward to in the next life, then the only future you think of is your own children. We should think of our children. But you know the Quraysh, the greatest future they ever thought of was what? There's, there's nothing more. That is the furthest extent they'll ever get. You know? This is the furthest. They can't go any, any past that. They can't think any past that. I want good for my kids too. I want them to get a good education. I want them to get a good job. But you know what? I want their guidance more than anything else. Anything else. You guys are putting some of your kids in good high schools because they are from good school districts. So the math, science, English scores are high. But the moral depravity of those schools is lower than human civilization has ever experienced in its entire history. But the math, science scores are really high. <coughs> Homosexuality is being celebrated. An overly sexualized culture with music videos that are almost pornography is being shared constantly. Facebook is becoming more and more and more explicit, openly. Mobile devices are now tools that are predominantly being used to promote shamelessness. And we're buying our kids new iPhones because they got a good score on math. So they can get into a good school. We are feeding their minds and ripping their hearts out. That is what we're doing. That is what we're doing. They're becoming really smart and they're going to be doctors. But they are going to be materialist, almost non-human. They're not going to have any spiritual life left inside of them. And you know who did that to them? Yes. Don't blame the kuffar. Don't blame the kuffar. You want good for your kids? Good, want good for all of them, not just their physical being. All you want for them is to make money, or to make, you should be able to say, I raised a doctor. I raised a kid who's got the top scores in this or that, and you never concerned yourself with their spiritual well-being, their character well-being, their ethical well-being, their moral well-being. There's a tragedy. And on the other hand, then you have some other people. I want to protect my child. I want it to be a hafiz. He doesn't go to school. He just goes to school. And then he's going to become a alim. And after alim, I don't know, fadil. After fadil, maybe farig. I don't know. But he's going to... I'm going to keep him away from the, this kafir society. I'm just, oh, I'm going to Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah. And let me tell you something about that young man who is completely surrounded in the masjid environment and knows nothing about the world outside. He knows nothing about the world outside. Because that is the world of kuffar. What you've done to this child is the equal, equal injustice. You have fed his heart at the expense of feeding his mind. Does Allah ask us to pay attention to the world around us? Did you know that in Surah Al-Baqarah, when Allah talked about business law, business law, the guy who knows how to write the contract must be a lawyer, or a, at least an expert in business. He says, He should write based on what Allah taught him. The guy who understands how to write business contracts, his education, Allah says, I gave it to him. The Qur'an says, Quran. He taught the Qur'an. And the same Qur'an says, business law was taught by Allah. This is a, some non-Muslim guy, he's a katib, who knows how to write contracts really well, and Allah says, I educated him. The Qur'an does not make a distinction between religious education and worldly education, what you like to call secular education, because all of it is ayat of Allah. When you cut the ayat of Allah, we're gonna study the ayat of revelation, but not the ayat of the world around us, and not the world, not the world of history. There were three ways to the truth, front, back, and top. And now you say, I just wanna learn the top, I don't wanna see the front, I don't wanna see the back, then you know what? You're not getting the full picture of the truth. We need to find a balance in human education. This is the tragedy that we've done to our kids. We have hope in our kids, but man, even if this kid does go to a madrasa and mashallah becomes a alim, I'm happy for him. But when he comes to college one day or meets a college student, and then he has one conversation about Richard Dawkins. He has one conversation about evolution. What's he gonna do? Where's he gonna go? We haven't even prepared them for the intellectual challenges against Islam. This is our responsibility, people. We have to do it.